Angular provides five different ways to create a service. There appears to be quite a bit of confusion between the different service types that Angular provides on the internet, and specifically the difference between the Angular service service and the Angular factory service. In this short video, I will show you the difference between the Angular service service and the Angular factory service, and then I will show you why you might choose to use one over the other. First, I've already created an Angular module called ToDoApp and assigned it to the variable app. I will now create an Angular service called ToDoList using both the Angular service service and the Angular factory service so that you can see the difference. First, to create an Angular service service, I'm going to call the service method on the module. The first parameter of the service method is the service name. I'm going to call to-do list service. The second parameter to the service method is a function. I'm going to pass an anonymous function, which needs no arguments. Now, I'm going to skip ahead to the factory service for one second and show you how you create the factory service. To create the factory service, you're going to call the factory method on the module. You're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it to-do list factory so that we can tell the difference between the service to-do list service and the factory, which we're called to-do list factory. And then you pass it a function. Again, I'm going to pass it a function with no parameters. Now let's go back and implement our to-do list service. When you inject a service, service, say, into a controller for the first time, Angular uses the new keyword on the function reference you passed in the service method. In other words, it treats your function as a constructor function. Two things happen for you automatically, and this is just what happens with the new keyword. First, you get an empty object assigned to a variable called this. This happens for you automatically, so I'm going to comment this out. But I just wanted to show you what happens. F second, your function will return this object. Again, this happens automatically for you, so I'll comment this out. The rest of the function is your definition of the service. So in this case, I'm going to set up an array to store my list of to-dos. I'm also going to create two methods, an add to-do, which I'm not going to implement here. And a remove to-do. Again, I'm not going to implement it here. So now we have our service, which has a to-do list, an add to-do function, and a remove to-do function. And this is all built as a service. When we inject this, the variable this gets returned to us and becomes our service. Now, let's implement the factory service. The difference between the service service and the factory service is that the service service is nude as a constructor function, while the factory service is just called, and whatever is returned from the function is what will be your service. So to implement our to-do list factory, we basically just have to create an empty object and return that object. The rest of our implementation is exactly the same. We'll create our array for our to-do lists, and then we'll add our two functions, add to-do, and I'm not going to implement these again, and remove to-do.
Now we have two services, a factory service and a service service, which are exactly the same. At this point, we can create a controller and inject our services. And they can be used identically. They both have the same methods and they both have the same properties. Well, now you may be asking yourself, why would I choose to use a factory over a service since I can do the same thing with both of them? And the answer is that if I wanted to return anything other than an object, such as a function, I would need to use a factory. Let's say that we wanted to have a service that allowed us to create a to-do. To do this, we could create a factory. And this factory could return a function, which took a description and a priority. And then that function will return a new object with a description set and the priority set. And perhaps it would have a function We can now inject our new to-do factory service into our controller and use it to create new to-dos, such as a clean to-do and a write to-do. And we can see now why the factory service gets its name factory.